boys and girls. Today we're going to read about the topic rainforests. This book about rainforests was written by Kate Riggs. She's the author. It's a nonfiction book, so it's not going to be a story. There's no character, no settings, no beginning, middle, or end, but we will learn a key detail about rainforests on every page. It's full of nice photographs like this one. It shows us stuff that we can learn about the topic. So what I know now, just from looking from the outside of the book, is that rainforests might have waterfalls in them. Hey, that looks like the bottom of bananas. Maybe they're trying to teach me with this photograph that fruits like bananas could grow in a rainforest. What a pretty shade of green. It looks like a leaf. Maybe they're trying to tell me that there's a lot of plants with big green leaves that grow in the rainforest. Here's our table of contents. It gives me a list of key details and the pages on which I will read about them. I could read them in any order I like because it's a nonfiction book. There's a glossary a section with words I should know on page 22. And there's an index with those special words and tells me what pages those special words appear on. I'm gonna look at the glossary and find out what some of the special words are. That was on page 22. The glossary and index are always in the back of a nonfiction book and the table of contents is in the front. This book only has two really special words in it that they wanted to define for us or tell us what it means. The word canopy and the word claws. The word canopy is the second highest layer of a rainforest with most of the tall trees. The word claws means curved nails on the toes of some animals. So there must be animals in the rainforest that have claws. And Rainforest must have some tall trees in it that have a canopy. I've heard the word canopy before, like in a canopy bed, and usually that means that it protects something underneath of it or covers something. I bet there's so many trees that the tops of them make it so you can't even see the ground through them. Maybe that's what they mean by canopy. Hello, rainforest. Oh, it's so green. Rainforests are places that get lots of rain. They are warm and wet. Tall trees grow in rainforests. Sloths hang from trees by their long claws. This must be a sloth. Those are his claws. Snakes curl around branches. Hmm. So rainforests have lots of tall trees and it rains a lot. Well, that makes sense. It's called a rain forest. And a forest is where there's lots of trees. And if it rains there a lot, it must be a rain forest. And they have some animals like sloths and snakes inside the rainforest. Did you see the word claws on the page where we read about the sloth? Did you notice it's a different color than the other words? That's how the author was telling us that it's a special word about this topic. It's one of the words that we saw in the glossary. Authors can have different ways of showing us that a word is very special about the topic and that we should understand that word. Sometimes they use bold text where the word is darker and thicker and just fatter than the other words. That's called bold text. Sometimes they put it in a different color than the other words. Let's find out more about the rainforest. Some plants grow on trees. Others have big leaves that catch water. Fruits and nuts grow too. Wow, look at that tree. It's covered in plants. 
So the plants don't just grow on the ground. The plants are actually growing on the trees. That's why the tree looks furry and green. Trees aren't furry and green. These are plants growing on the tree. And other trees might have big leaves that catch water. And some of the trees grow fruits and nuts. Monkeys swing through the forest. Sticky tree frogs grip plants. Bugs fly and hide. Oh, look at his wings. He has wonderful camouflage. He looks so much like that piece of wood. I bet he could blend right in. Nice camouflage. In fact, I see a lot of camouflage on this page. Notice that the monkey is very similar in color to this branch. That might help protect him from predators. This sticky tree frog, he looks like a red-eyed tree frog. He's hanging onto this green leaf and he's green too. That might help protect him. So, so far, can you name some animals that live in the rainforest? Like sloths and snakes and monkeys, frogs and bugs? Let's find out what else we can learn about the rainforest. The tallest trees are about 200 feet tall. Other trees grow below them. They make up the canopy. So do you see how this tree is so much taller than the others? Well, not all the trees are 200 feet tall. The other trees that are growing below them make up the canopy. So the second highest layer. Remember canopy was one of those special words that was in our glossary. And here the author has made it a different color again to show us that it's special. If they'd used bold text, it would be even bigger and darker and fatter than the other words. But it still serves the same purpose, to tell us that it's a special word. Rain falls in the forest. It gathers in plants. Oh, these are the pitcher plants we saw in the book, Plants That Eat Animals. We know all about them now. So the rain falls in the forest and it can gather inside of the plants. Animals like coatis move up and down the trees. There's another animal that lives in the rainforest and his fur is very similar in color to that tree. Nice camouflage happening in this book. Goodbye rainforest. Oh, here's a diagram of a rainforest the best they could do. They told us this is the emergent layer. That must be the highest layer. This is one of the tallest trees. It's a kapok tree. And then this is the canopy. It says canopy right here. And do you see how it's the second highest layer? And this is the understory. That's the bottom layer. And then it rains so much that there's usually a river in there. Here's the forest floor. So a rainforest has many different levels. There's the forest floor, the understory, the canopy, and then the emergent layer, the tallest layer. And those trees can be over 200 feet tall. And then we learned that there were different animals that lived in the rainforest. So this was the three-toed sloth. Here's the millipede. And this is a blue and yellow macaw. He's a type of parrot. We've already read the words to know in our glossary. The glossary tells us what those special words mean, what those vocabulary words about our topic mean. The glossary and the index are in the back of the book. In the index, it tells us what page certain words appeared on. So the word sloths appeared on page eight, but the word trees was in this book a lot. They used the word tree on page eight, 11, 15, and 17. The word plants was in this book a lot too. They put the word plants on page 11, 12, and 16. Did you learn at least five new facts about rainforests from this book? 
whether you learned them from the words or from the photographs. If it's a, tech, a key detail that you learned about rainforests, you can tell it across your fingers. Put one finger up and say one fact that you learned. Then put up another finger and say another fact that you learned. See if you have five key details that you learned about the topic rainforests.